have Hamilton. We call that Soccer Central. It is a new build and it marks the closing of a circle in that we are replacing Ivor Wynn Stadium, which was built for the very last time we had a multi-sport games in this region, which is the Empire Games in 1930. Moving to the north is Milton, the Milton Velodrome for track cycling. It is also a new build. It will be the home for Canadian cycling. Right now, our Canadian cyclists have to train in Carson, California. They'll be able to train right here in Canada. Not only that, though, Milton is using this as a community center. And for them, it serves the growing needs of that growing population. A great example of building versatility into our venues to ensure that they have sustaining legacy well beyond the games themselves. Moving on, we have the Caledon Equestrian Park, for Equestrian. This is the home to the Pan Am 2007 Pan Am Trials and uh, recommended, recommended by the Equestrian Federation hardly as the best site for Equestrian in Ontario. Moving north to Oro Wadante, we have mountain biking. Beyond that, in Minden, we have slalom, canoe, and kayak at one of the few natural courses in North America and a favorite for the athletes. South, we go to Oshawa, where we have boxing. Moving on, back to the city, we've got the Royal Canadian Yacht Club for sailing. <coughs> Finally, we have the Peter Gilgan Athletic Center for basketball. This is located at the historic Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto's Hockey Shrine, which is now turned into the Ryerson Athletic Center. That will be a fantastic venue for both men's and women's basketball in 2015. Now, we do have a few things left to do. We are finalizing the homes for four sports, golf, shooting, baseball, and softball. But work is well underway on them, and we expect to have final decisions this summer. We also see the Para Games, the Para Pan, uh, Pan American Games, is a very important part of our games. We'll have a separate announcement for them before the start of the summertime where we can give them their full time they justly deserve. I am constantly being impacted by how inspiring those athletes can be for us as we think of our own challenges and we're looking forward to setting a new benchmark what the Para Pan Games can be in Toronto in 2015.